I use blogging to help teach critical thinking, specifically persuasive writing. The students are given topics that they research and then debate online. And they also have an opportunity to respond in comments to questions that I pose relative to the assignments and the lessons that we use. The logistics are that I give each of the students an anonymous name. They actually pull a name out of a bag and I use names from the Greek, Norse, and Egyptian pantheon. So they all get to be gods, which you know pretty much matches their egos at that age. And it's on a password protected blog so that only the students in a given class have access to it. And sometimes we'll use the blog during class and sometimes we'll do that as homework, but they're constantly responding to each other and posting their own content for the requirements of the given lesson or unit. And the reason that I use it, well, there are several reasons. First of all, in a class discussion, you might get, if you're lucky, 30 to 50 percent of the class participating in the discussion. However, that leaves at least half the students, and usually more like three quarters of them, who don't ever say anything. And even then, when you do have a third of them participating, that's only one person at a time that's speaking. Most students, most of the time in a class discussion, are not actively engaged. They're passively engaged in the lesson. With a blog, everybody is constantly commenting, and so they're able to fully participate and consistently participate in the lessons. It removes the aspect of fear or shame because they're commenting anonymously. And in many ways, it also raises the stakes of their conversation because they're writing to each other now as an authentic audience as opposed to writing to me as a teacher.